Hey guys, it is me, Sumbo Heavy here. Welcome back to my new tutorial. So today's video, I am going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how I make The Sims 3 beautiful in 2023. So I've actually been wanting to make a video like this for a while because I've actually had some people ask me how does your game look so good? How does your game look so pretty? What we share your news? What mods do you have in your game and all that jazz? So this video is for all you guys that have been asking me and there will be multiple chapters throughout of this video where I will be talking about the mods that I need to change the lighting, the environment, my replacements and also my sims replacements as well like creator sims skins, eyes and all that stuff so I'm very very excited to show you guys. So the very first step before we get into the entire video, I just want to say that it is very important to have your Sims graphics on very high, but before you get there, I just want to say this also depends on your computer specs. So for me, I do have a very, very good PC. Um, I have that in the subscription below for you guys. But my specs is that I do have um, a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and I have a 4080 RTX GeForce graphics card. So as you can imagine, my PC is pretty powerful to be able to run the sims 3 on ultra settings but i will mention that the sims 3 is a very very old game it has been out for like over 10 years it's been out since 2009 so it can still work with older graphics cards and it can still work with new graphics cards so you can easily run your sims 3 game on super high settings but you have to be careful because sometimes um your game can run high but but sometimes you will have performance drop so just be careful for that and also i do not recommend this doing this on integrated graphics cards that comes with your um cpu or your processor which is your central processing unit of your pc um so i don't recommend that because your game will just lag massively and i don't want that for you so the main important settings that I like to have in my Sims game is obviously the texture details, some details, light and shadows, and that's it really. So um, I like to have those on very high slash high um, to make my game look pretty as possible. And it just makes the game look more HD and makes it more sharpened and all that stuff. Um, and I also have Edge Smooth and Turned Off because this is where I will be talking about Mushi very soon in this video. So that's the reason why I have Edge Smooth and Turned Off. It's for the reset to actually work in my game and then for high detail lots i don't really care for the detail lots i will only increase this if i'm taking screenshots or i'm doing like some sort of like an intro for like my new videos like supernatural or my lipacy or like speed build or something like that basically um i will always have this on number one because if i increase this sometimes my game will add a wee bit. So I always have this on one. If you guys have always wondered what custom content I need for my sims, as you can see, my son is on the screen right now and he is currently wearing a custom content skin and he also has custom content eye contacts and different custom content hairstyles and all that stuff so as you can see i do have a lot of cc in my game right now and i'm going to be showing you guys the defaults that i need in my game so the first one i currently need it's called fresh skin and this was created by bunkley sims and i actually recently just started using this gun recently um i used to have the bun waffles um I scan something like that, I cannot remember the exact name, 
Pa, I was the to I got to change my skin to the fresh skin from Bunkley Sons because it looks more sharpened, it looks high quality and it just looks really good on my sons. So as you can see, this is my Kurt Hayes hold, which is Jaden um, and Sam. Basically, um, he is currently wearing the skin right now and he looks really high quality. Super HD, um, very, very sharpened as well and I am obsessed with the skin. And then if you guys are wondering about the eye contacts that I did use on him, they are actually located in custom makeups because I actually do not have a default um, eye contacts. But I do use these ones as my main eye contacts and they are indeed by Wonder Sims. So... These are the ones that I use for my eye contacts for my sons. I have been using them for a very, very long time and they are one of my favourites. So this one's number five and this one's number six. I personally like to use the number five. Number five is one of my favourite eye contacts. Um, so um, there is a default version of those which I actually probably should download at some point but I just haven't downloaded these ones yet. So these are indeed the um, eye contacts that I use on um my sims so as you can see these are the ones that i have so these are the ones without the eye contacts you can see i do actually have default eyes but um i personally do not use these ones um i like to use those ones um and yeah actually it looks really cute with the brown eyes i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um but yeah so these are the eye contacts that i use for my sims and then there's also another one that i use which is the perfect teeth from moon skin 93 um they don't actually have it available for download but there is a website where you can actually download them i am pretty sure and i like i said i will have all these links in the subscription below for you guys um so this one's called pretty teeth and is from moon skin 93 and i have been using this for a very very long time it's one of the best custom content teams that you can have for your sons and I love it so freaking much so like I mentioned that it is very important to have your sons graphics on very high if your PC can handle it there is one thing that you can do with your sons very thin quality settings so what you want to do is go into your Windows C drive Broken Files 86, go to your Origin Games or your EA Games, it, most of you guys it will be EA Games because of the EA app, I am still on Origin, if you want to know, let me know in the comments below, um, so if you want to go to Origin Games, The Sims 3 Game Bin, and this is where all your Sims 3 files are, which is your installation folder and all that stuff. So the file that you want to be looking is the graphics real file. So before we do this, I recommend backing up your um, graphics real folder. So I will go ahead and right click on this, copy, go to your desktop, click paste. So that way it is located onto your desktop, just in case you need to... Um, get the original version back into your game if something goes wrong and all that stuff so what you want to do is open it with notepad or anything else that you prefer to use so this is what it looks like the graphics rules this is what it looks like in the game so what you want to do next is control f on your keyboard and you want to type in sim quality and then you want to make sure you click search down so this as well come up in your graphics real folder and file i mean <laughs> so the reason why i'm showing you guys the sim quality that you can change into your game is because you can actually increase the quality of your sims and that is why my sims even look more sharpened and more realistic so you want to go into your sim quality section right here and what you want to do is come to the very last section which is located right here so if you look for setting 
very high with the dollar sign. You want to come to the section, and the section is very important because you also need to have your some details on very high in your graphic section. So, like I said, this was in, this is very important. So, I do actually have my sons at 4K resolution quality, and I will say that it is only recommended for screenshots. So, I don't actually recommend this for gameplay unless your PC can handle it like mine does. Um, because the reason why I recommend it for screenshots is because it will make your sons look very, very slow. I had this problem before with. 4K resolution when I had my old graphics card and all that stuff. Basically, my sins would take like 84 years to change the outfits. Sometimes the textures would take a very, very long time to actually load in. So they would like, they were sins one graphics or something like that. So, um, for me, I use 4K quality because of my PC, obviously. So, um, you want to come to a section call render some texture sizes so this is the section that you want to be looking at and i have it at 1496 which is 4k resolution um the default currently is 2048 which is the current default version for your son settings so um i have a 1496 um that's why i use personally for my game and there's also one more thing that you can actually do with creator sim so when you take your sim into creator sim you also can have 4k quality sims in your creator sim if you want to see that beautiful graphics your sims look gorgeous and um, come to our section called has render target size and you want to change this to 1496 and then click save so that is how to increase your sim quality settings by the way guys if you always wondered what environment mods that i need in my game right now as you can see i obviously need a lighter mod in my sims 3 game this lighting mod is actually created by the wonderful burn waffles and i have it here, right here for you guys so i need the frozen inspired lighting mod and i have been using this mod for a very very long time it's one of my favorites and burn waffles just makes the most gorgeous lighting mods in this game i swear so I need the Frozen Inspire Lighting Mode, but there's also different versions of the Lighting Mode. So the one that I personally use is the um, Enronis with Island Paisio Light Bright Blue Water, which is the one that you are currently seeing right now in my game right now. This is the um, Island Paisio with the Bright Blue Water, and it just makes my game look pretty as possible it's just absolutely studying and i love it so freaking much um so this is what it looks like in my game and um when it comes night time and all that stuff it absolutely looks really good i'm not gonna lie um so as you can see this is around 9 p.m in my game right now and this is just what it looks like you can see like the purple in the sky and then it's like a warm tone colors here it's just so pretty i'm not gonna lie um i absolutely love it so much like this game is gorgeous and i will go ahead and show you guys around 3 a.m so this is what it looks like around 3 a.m in my game right now and also i will be showing you guys a bit those um milky way clones in my game we'll get to that in a second but um this is what it looks like at 3 a.m and it's gorgeous i'm not gonna lie like it actually looks so freaking pretty like i love it so much and then i will show you guys around 8 a.m in the morning so that's what it looks like around 8 a.m in the morning um nice and bright and my crit his hold wild so that's what it looks like it's gorgeous so you guys i actually forgot to mention that 
fun waffles does also have a more that I also need in my game and that is increasing the star fuel quality so as you can see I do have the stars in my sky right now it's like the beautiful stars that you look up to in the sky obviously I actually use this one by Bun Waffles and I use the Skyrim star fuel texture replacement and I use the highest resolution and this also does require your game to have your texture detail setting too very very high as well because if you don't have it on high this will not work so that's what i use in my game right now and it just makes it just makes it look really pretty i'm not gonna lie um it's gorgeous like look at that like look at this look at this it's gorgeous look look at that <laughs> Finally, guys, I did say that I also need another environment mod in my um, electron mod as well. And I also add this mod into my game and it's called Realistic Lens. And this was created by Neil Nixon. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I am so sorry I'm butchered the name. I really apologize for that. But I need this mod in my game and I also need another mod in the game as well and that is the Milky Way Night Sky and it basically shows what I showed you guys like just a few minutes ago so you can see the coins are like more realistic in my game right now and you also can see I have the Milky Way um I really like the Milky Way it just makes my skies look beautiful and pretty as possible so you can see that the skies are like purple right now which is absolutely gorgeous um but yeah so this is the milky way and this is the realistic cleanse and all that stuff and i will show you guys around um morning time as well actually so this is what it looks like for the realistic cleanse and um it just makes everything look so pretty i'm not gonna lie like one more more before we get to the actual reshade settings and also my sim quality settings as well basically i want to show you guys a mode that i need in my game and that is the better snowflakes replacement mode and i also need another mode which is snow but better which you can find on mod the sims and what it basically does is that this mod here actually makes your snow look much better. So what it basically does is that they have actually went here and fixed the snow that EA has never done in the game. So as you can see, this is EA's version of the snow and the current version from this crater. They made it snow that goes into the porch of your house. And then they also went here and fixed some of the texture issues that they had with the snow so as you can see we have the new version take on fire um with the ea you used to have like a massive square of there no snow because of the campfire but they went ahead and fixed that and it just makes it look so much better now it's just like there's not a massive square anymore and it just makes things gorgeous and they went ahead and like changed the texture of the snow as well and everything just looks way more realistic and gorgeous and all that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the game right now so as you can see um the snow is obviously the same but you can see the texture of the snow is much much realistic now and then you also can see the snow on the road is also way better as well and um everything just looks amazing like it just makes everything so much better now honestly and then i will also go ahead and show you guys one of the houses that has like a porch or something like that if i can find one actually um maybe something like over here so as you can see um 
we do have the snow that's like on the porch right now but obviously you can see it's like doing this because of the door um but you can see that it finally has like the snow that's on the freaking porch right now and it just makes everything look much much better um and also this also goes for the houseboats as well actually it's like everything just looks a hundred percent better and then i also mentioned that i also need um the snowflake replacement mod as well um that is by this crater over here um so i need this mod and it just basically changes the snowflakes into like actual snowflakes because the sims tree snow it's like balls or something like that it's like snowballs but just falling them into the ground and this one it just looks so much better in my game right now and that's what it looks like in my game right now so as you can see like the snowflakes are like much much better right now Finally you guys, here is the very last step in this video and that is the wonderful world of Mushe. So you may have actually heard of Mushe, it's basically a software where you can actually like change the um, filters of your game so you can add like different presets, you can add um, like really like, group presets in the game where you can have like blur effects in the background for your sims or you can change the color of your game or you can make your game more fiber more sharpen or different reasons or oh, people need to reshave for different reasons and i need to reshave for screenshots in my game but i also need to reshave to make my sims game look pretty as possible so before i go ahead and show you guys in the game where it looks like so this is Rishi. i will have this in the subscription below for you guys so what you want to do is click download and i personally need the fail add-on support version because there is going to be files that i will be providing in the subscription below for you guys that you can use to download into your sims game because those files were from gc and i need a filter which i will show you in a second so i need the mushi 5.92 fail add-on support so what you want to do is download this and it is also recommended not to use in multiplayer games so just be careful with that this will work for the sims stream but if you want to use reshave for like different games i recommend downloading the normal version um if your game allows you so um you can see it is currently downloaded into my pc so what you want to do is um open the file and this will come up into your um desktop so what you want to do is click on browse you want to come to your sims 3 folder which is your sims 3 brand which is in um windows cgi broken files ea games or origin games sims 3 game brim, and you want to find your sims 3 files so um you want to click on sims 3 mts 3 x m x there we go and you want to click on next and you want to click directs and nine because the sims stream uses directs and nine so all you want to use um directs and nine for is rendering api and then click next and then you want to be able to um install presets and stuff like that so what you can actually do is i'll show you guys because i already have this um, and so you guys can see that it will actually ask you if you got any presets to install into your sims game if you don't have any presets i will have some link in the subscription below for you guys the one that i use personally it is from sneak cells um on a dreamed Mushi preset and I also add my own settings to it as well so I like mix and match basically so this is the one that I use into my game and it's gorgeous it makes my game look beautiful and more vibrant so you want to click next if you don't have anything just click skip and the filters that I use into my game is the standard effects I also need a sweet fx and then I also need this um 
this one as well because I like to have the um, TOF as well which is basically um, adding the board to your background in your Sims 3 game if you want to take really nice screenshots and all that stuff and I also use the um, unit by Marty McFly as well because I also use MXAO which is the one that you see in my YouTube videos quite a lot which has like the deepened shadows and it makes the game look more realistic and more beautiful basically I might try to think of words here <laughs> so this is the one that I use into my Sims 3 game as well and I also use the latency effects because those are the ones that used to be in the old ratio or something like that so I use the latency effects as well so those are the ones that I use in my um reset settings and I'm going to show you guys the files that I was talking about so I mentioned that um, I do have two files that I put into my Ruche folder and that was created for Ruche but it was also created for The Sims 4 as well but it actually works in The Sims 3 and um, those files were from Lady Sweet Tart. I actually saw her YouTube video on how to fix Ruche files into actual Ruche. So these are the two files that I use in my Sims 2 game. So what you want to do is go ahead and download these files and then come to your Sims 3 installation folder. So once you have downloaded your Ruche, it will be located in your Windows C drive, Building Files 86, um, Origin Games or EA Games, The Sims 3 Game, Bim, and then you will have the file called Ruche Shaders. So this is your Ruche. Which you, um, you also can put your um, reshape presets in this folder as well, by the way, in your insulation folder, not in this folder, in this folder. Um, so this is the file that you want to be looking for, and that is called reshape shaders. And what you want to do is come to your download um, folder, which is, should be located in your file explorer. And these are the two files that you want to put into your um your Rishi folder so I already have those in my game right now so as you can see I have those two files into my Rishi folder and this will um, come up in your Rishi overlay in your Sims 3 game Alright, so we are finally back into my Sims 3 game and basically what you want to do is when you have installed Rishi into your game the default button to open your overlay will be your home button but I have mine's as F12 so it's easier for me to open that but you can actually come to your settings and you can actually change your overlay key um, if you prefer the button to be something else I have an F12 um, to open my Rouge overlay but this is what will come up in your Sims 3 game once you open Mushi and you can see I have a lot of presets in my game right now I have so many so like I said I use um Snake Souls um Born and Dreams preset but I also use different effects as well into the Rishi as well so I add more into the Rishi um so I'm going to show you guys what my game looks like but uh, Rishi right now this is what's, what it looks like look at the difference look the freaking difference in my game right now like my game looks so bad but it Rishi I'm not gonna lie <laughs> like I don't know how I played like this for so long. Like my game actually looks so terrible with it, Rishi. But like there's massive difference. Like the difference with the Rishi and no Rishi. It's a huge difference in my game right now. That's why majority of my game looks really, really good right now. Um, it's because of Rishi and my graphic settings. So I'm going to show you guys the um the files that we actually put it into my Rishi shaders folder. And these are the files that I was using for my games. So if you want to use those filters in your game right now, um this is the MXAO, um, which is like a shader that it adds like shadows into your game. So you can see 
Um, it literally adds like a lot of shadow to your sins and all that stuff. It just makes it makes your shadows more realistic in your game, and I really like that. And it's also perfect for screenshots as well. So let's go back into my Wii So you can see these are all the um effects that I use in my game right now. So if you guys want to use the um MXAO fit in effect in your game you actually have to come down to edit global preprocessor generations and you want to change the reshade if input is reserved you want to change this one to seal because that's how it will work so um by default it will be one but if you change it to seal it will um your um, effects will work in game and all that stuff so i use um dpx which is basically like i think it basically like just bright, brightens my game a wee bit so you can see my games like more um neutral and vibrant without the dpx but i like to use this because it has like a cool effect to my game so it's like it's like my game has like this effect and then I have like this, you know. Just makes things like oh things a wee bit better. And then I use all levels so like some of the um effects are from the actual presets. So sometimes if you download presets it will come with some features enabled because of the presets. So um we have levels and cars which is basically like um which is basically like changing the um it's basically, and let me show you here, where is it actually, I'm not exactly where, um, so it's just basically like, um, makes things a wee bit brighter, and then makes things a wee bit darker at the same time, and then for the actual curves, it just like changes my contrast as well, so like, I will change my contrast, like, you know, like, like, if you want it, like, high, like, this is what the contrast looks like, and I actually kind of like that, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of like that, but that's what it looks like, and I have it at, um, I have it at, um, minus 160, I think that's what I had previously, actually. Um, let me just fix that quick. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I had before, actually. So that's what it looks like. And then I have film map cast, which is basically adding, um, like this, um, it's like, it's like you go to Instagram and then you add filters to your pictures. So like sometimes you have like this filter and then you have like a different filter so that's what it basically does it just like changes the um colors and the filters and then i also have sharpened which makes my game more sharpened in the game so like the textures the sim quality uh my details and that will look more sharpened in the game and then this is one of my favorite effects which is color and i use this to change the game color it just brightens the game and it makes it more saturated and it also makes it look more um colorful so that's why it does and then i also mentioned that the reason why i have edge smooth and turned off is because of those files like the mxao you have to have edge smooth and turned off so to, if you don't like the jaggy edges there's actually an effect call SMAA and this basically just like smoothens these jaggy edges so as you can see I've got like jaggy I've got like jaggy edges here and then just basically makes it more smooth and then this is the main effect that I use in my game and that's basically the depth of feel shader so this is what it looks like in my game and I use this to basically take screenshots in my game and I actually use this on my keyboard as well so I can turn it off and on which makes things a lot better i'm not gonna lie so this is what it looks like with the depth of field um that is what it looks like in my game right now it just it's just so perfect for um screenshots and stuff like that um and if you guys want to make real really nice screenshots you can use this for your, your tumper pages and all that stuff it just everything looks way right here with this effect so um and then i also use another 
effect called AMD Contrast Sharpen. This is like the one that came with my Mushi as well. So I just left that one on, but I think it does the same job as the Sharpen. But I kept it on anyways. And then this is the one that makes like slightly different and that is changing the colors so you can change this to um i'm going to copy this so i can actually um copy so you can actually like change the tip of your game so you can have it like purple or something like that so like your game could be super purple or you can even make it more red if you're doing like a hell like a hell household or something like that basically <laughs> so that's that's just basically changes the um of your game and i need to turn this down a wee bit actually because i think i i can remember what i had on actually um you know what i think it was 110 or something yeah that looks better now okay there we go that's back to normal <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it basically is and I, I also use this feature called bloom as well and i also use this for my um screenshots as well um i use it for my thumbnails mainly so if i'm making like a thumbnail for my game or something like that this is what i will use for my thumbnails but as you can see it is a wee bit too me, I will say so you can actually come down here and you can actually like change the Insanity so you can actually like decrease it a wee bit so it's not like Super intense on your screen or something like that. So um, that's why I need when I'm taking like special screenshots or like actual thumbnails and stuff like that basically so that was my um Rishi settings that i need for my sims game i actually will be um putting this on sun file share if you guys want to download my um Rishi. but i will also put the link for um sneak cells preset as well because i'm not the one who created this preset originally but i need it like combined basically so um this is what i use for my game and it's the main reason why my game looks beautiful and that's it for this video for you guys i hope this video has helped you find some words that i use in my sims 2 game very very helpful and also if you guys have questions let me know in the comments below and i'm always happy to answer your questions if you need any help or you just need um, or you just want any questions about anything that I use in my game really or if you want to see more videos from me like this let me know in the comments below as well actually because I'm always happy to do more videos like this so yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed this video and this video was very helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel for more sins free videos and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my very next video goodbye people